I want to get a little bit more back into the value side of things, and specifically the web of life. So last week we talked about this tool that many of you guys have seen here, but Matthew, Clayton, and Josie hasn't seen. And basically is a tool that has allowed me to create my life into a very positive, awesome you know, experience. I have gone from being a very unorganized type of person without any goals to achieve, any purpose, any vision, to someone who has a clear goal, a clear vision, a clear purpose, and the actionable steps to reach that point. So I'm gonna let some of the guys actually in the organization to show you what the wheel of life looks like and how does it work so you guys can start using it yourself. Um, just to give you some of the examples of the things that this wheel of life has helped me attain, I got a job in the professional world finally. You know, as a 23 year old, I got a job. Uh, thank you. Uh, I lost six to eight percent body fat because I want to cut down before I start bulking up. I'm sure some of you guys also have a lot of fitness goals that maybe relate with that. And third, I also you know, built a really strong relationship with my parents that wasn't there maybe three, four, five months ago. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let Alex Moffitt show you guys what the Wheel of Life is about. Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, my name's Alex. Uh, it's gonna be my fifth year here at Florida State. I'm a business management major. Um, and I talked a little bit about the Wheel of Life last week. Um, and so this week, uh, the value that I've been trying to uh, pursue is having an amazing final year here at Florida State. And so the process of the Wheel of Life is basically broken down most simply. It's um, a vision, a purpose, and then goals that you want to set for yourself for the week to come. Um, and the vision is basically like the what, like what you're trying to attain, what the end result will look like. Uh, and then the purpose is sort of like the why, like why it's important to you to, uh, to push yourself to pursue that goal. And then the goals are just basically like little tiny things that you can do um, to help you achieve that ultimate goal because a lot of these uh, difficult tasks that you set for yourself can seem very challenging, but if you break it down into like small manageable parts, it makes it so much more easy to accomplish. Awesome, can you just tell me real quick, how do we go about, what do we do before we set the vision, the purpose, and the goals? What is it that you know, stems for those things? Um, yeah, well, for me, what I did was uh, last week, I, I sat down for like 30 minutes and just wrote down like all the things that were important for me, um, like what I want out of life, um, and just like sort of like a roadmap for the next like five years or something so that I want to uh, like attain step by step. Um, and so one of the most important things for me was- I'm gonna um, right up to your computer. Yeah. Give me one second. Cool. Yeah, so one of the most important things for me was um, making this last year for myself at Florida State the best one that I've had so far. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna talk to you guys about here in just a sec. Um, just sort of gives you some direction as you're going about the, uh, the goal that you're trying to accomplish. Um, so for me, my vision for this goal is um, not a lot of kids have the opportunity to even go to university, let alone spend five years at an institution like this. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are freshmen or sophomores, which is awesome. Um, but for me, this is going to be my last year here. So I really want to do everything I can to make it the best and most memorable year so far. Um, so my vision is um, basically to get as much done as I can in the next nine months before uh, I graduate in May and go off into the professional world. Um, and for me, that means having some of my most memorable and favorite memories come in this coming year, um, whether it's you know football games, nights out with friends, um, and or even like achieving success in this new job that I just got today. Nice. Um, by I the way, yeah, I got a job at the uh, at the Hilton Garden Inn on Appalachia front desk starting tomorrow. Right. Right. Pretty exciting, yeah. Nice. Um, 
Wheel of Life. Yeah, that was actually, if you scroll up my first page, uh, the Wheel of Life for two weeks ago was um, all about finding a job. And I stuck to it, and here I am now. You're a better man. Exactly. One step closer, at least. So, um, yeah, so my vision is basically just, I want to uh, make this the most memorable year so far. Um, and by making it the most productive and the most fun year I'm going to have, um, it's going to take a little bit of organization, which is where the wheel of life comes in. It'll sort of give me that direction and focus as the year unfolds um, to, you know, stick to my plans, stick to my commitments, um, finish out school with, like, the strongest grade point average that I've had while having as much fun as I've had in the last five years. Um, so that's basically what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, my purpose for this is that I realize that this is going to be the last time for at least the foreseeable future where I have the freedom of being a full-time student without like the responsibilities of a full-time job. Um, and so, like I said, I want to make this um, you know, the best year I've had by capitalizing on every opportunity and just enjoying every moment. Um, whether it's you know, going to every home football game that I can, uh, making as many contacts, social and business, um, to build my network before I leave Tallahassee and go off wherever that may be. Um, and just having success in this new job to um, ultimately propel me into the professional world when the time comes. So I believe um, that if I stick to this and uh, you know accomplish all these goals, I would be in a very strong position to be successful very shortly after I graduate because I know a lot of people graduate college and they're sort of you know broke, in debt, go back with their parents, um, and that's the last thing that I want to do. I want to be you know sort of have that foundation and be independent to where when I graduate I can go off and you know start on my own and be successful. Um, so the goal that I set for myself this week. my schedule for the fall. Uh, I'm trying to get all of my classes uh, in one chunk like early on in the morning, um, which is something that I've always avoided the last four years. I was kind of the guy to have like, you know, 11 a.m. noon classes. Um, but this coming year, since I'm all about being productive, I want to have my classes early on in the day, get them done. That way it'll give me the rest of the day to, you know, be productive, whether that means working, working out, spending time with you guys, you know, whatever that may be, it'll give me, you know, the maximum potential of each day. So the second goal that I have is um, finalizing my lease. Um, I've been adamantly searching for houses these past couple weeks, as Augustine can attest, we've been looking together. Um, and so I finally got my lease set up, and I just gotta do a couple things here and there, like mail out a grand sure form, um, mail a check and stuff like that. So that's on my list of things to do this week. Um, and then my third goal is to mail it at my orientation, uh, which started today, um, and I'm glad to say that it went very well. Everyone there seems really cool, um, and I'm on the schedule for the next three days, nine to five, getting that training in. Um, so I'm pretty excited to start that, start making some money, and um, yeah, we'll see what the next week has in store. So awesome. That's my wheel of life for this week. Thanks. 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 All right, so now we're going to have one more of the guys come up and present. <coughs> Matt Miller is going to come up and show yeah. his own wheel of life. Something that I want to mention before he starts, well, actually, I'll, I'll let you do your own presentation and then I'll... I'll give a little uh, words on the thing. Sure Just some back some background for those of you who don't know me. I'm my name's Matt Miller. I am a grad student in the philosophy department, a fourth year grad student. I'm actually currently teaching a summer class to undergraduates. A bit older than most of you in here, and I think of my role as. Uh, partly taking on some sort of a leadership, mentorship role, because I'm a bit older, I've lived a little longer, I got a few more, it's been around the block a few more times, so I think I have some, made a lot of mistakes and learned some lessons the hard way, so I'd like to share those with some younger men, um, so you guys can maybe not make those mistakes, get more out of your college career and the beginning of, the, of your post-college career, more than I did, um, but I also have plenty of growth and development to do for myself, so I think of myself as your peer as well, kind of learning and growing along with you guys. So I've been kind of, um, kind of all over the place in my 20s. I graduated college, took a year off, went to grad school here, dropped out after I got a master's, moved back home, worked a couple years at a couple jobs that were unfulfilling, came back to school here, and I've been here for the last year, and now I'm also rethinking things again. I'm not really sure 
what I want to do, where I want to be, I think all along I've kind of just taken the easy way out, where I've been in a situation where I wasn't really happy, so instead of doing the hard work and actually really uh, pursuing what is right for me in that best life that I want and deserve, instead I've just kind of taken the easy way out. Oh, well, I'm not, I don't want to do grad school, maybe I'll just move home and take the first job that comes. And that's kind of been the process that I've been going through the last few years, and I've kind of hit a point where I'm like, i got to stop doing this, and I need to really rethink things and really charge forward. So I've done a, been doing a lot of thinking and journaling and reflecting over the last few months, and so that has informed a lot of what I am coming up with for this uh, wheel of life. So I, the process that I went through to put this thing together You have to see the screen while you're using your computer. Yeah, there you go. Just uh, go to the right. Go to the right. So I put this down. It's like stick a six-step process. So the first one is before you even start to do this wheel of life thing, you want to like know what what is a good life. Think about what are you, what is, what are, and what are the components of that good life? So what are like the main things, like where do you want to be living, who do you want to be spending time with, what's your job, and so forth. So once you have those sorts of things in order, you can also ask what, what is absent from that life. What is in your life right now that you don't want to be part of your life in the future? So, but it'd be better off framing that in positive terms. So if you're thinking, I want to get rid of debt, well, don't think of it that way. Think of, I want financial freedom and independence, or I want to lose weight. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as, I want to gain muscle, or I want to build fitness, or look better, or um, instead of quitting your job, or I want to leave Tallahassee, it's so hot and humid here, think of, well, I want to get a better job that's more fulfilling, and I want to live somewhere in a better climate, or better environment, or whatever it is. So you want to, you want to think about what that... <coughs> that good life is for you? What are the major components? And why are those components valuable? Why is it important to have less body fat or to live in a different city or to have a job where you are using your talents and gifts? Or why is it better to have this type of social circle? So you want to think about why is that important? Why, is, why are those things important to you? How do they contribute to the good life, the happy life? Third is envision it. Think about it. Describe a day in the life. So once you start to have have those first two done, you have a good, a good idea of like what direction you want to go. All right, so you've achieved it all. Describe your perfect day in every detail, from the time you wake up to the time your eyes close when you go to bed that night. What, you know, he helped me think about this too. He's like, what does it smell like when you wake up mm. and you step outside? You know, what does it feel like? What book is on the nightstand? All these sorts of details. Like these are the things that, if you really want to get that vision, mm. all these details really matter. They make you feel it and experience what that life is like, and it helps you to believe it's possible. Because you'll never believe that some life way out, out in the future that's so different from the one that you're living right now, you're never going to believe that it's possible and start taking those positive steps unless you actually sit down and envision it. This is something that I've been working on a lot more lately. When I kind of think about what I, you know, I can, I can tell anybody anytime, like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do with my life. Here's where I want to be. Here's where I want to live. But I had never really sat down, like, what is that going to be like? What is it like? You know, and I think it makes it harder to actually believe that it's possible unless you put in the work and think about it and, and really envision mm -hmm. those sorts of things. And so that's something I've been working on lately. Um, next is to believe, like I just said. The more you envision it, it is to believe it's possible. And if you still don't think it's possible, you don't feel as confident as you do, go back to step three. Do more, do more envision. Write it down. <coughs> Five, set a plan. Like, you know, Alex just went over his wheel. You set a plan. Um, Long-term planning is important, but if, you're, if your good life is, is so radically different from the way it is now, it's going to be hard to... To, to get there without first taking a few minor steps, and that's where these 
you know, these weekly goals, these few minor, simple, concrete, actionable steps you can be taking every week. You want to set some of those 